Yeah, Virgo. It's Jeffrey. It's red color. This is your reading for 2023. So um, uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to move energy. I do a more detailed description about that. I talk about it on the Feast of Guadalupe video, which is uh, up. That uh, probably went up on December 11th, I guess. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm doing the 2023 and I'm really grateful and I feel really relaxed. So I'm getting like, And so I started with air. I always do a different order. And then I did water. And then I was like, well, no, no, no. I want to end on fire because fire is, you know, fiery. And earth, you know, is grounding. So it's good to come in the middle. I mean, it's good to come in the end or the beginning. It doesn't really matter. And I was like, well, who should I start with? And, you know, I'm Virgo rising. And I have I have a little bit of Capricorn I have is my... North no, South no, the one I'm going from. And Taurus, I don't have anything in Taurus. Um, and it was like, it was sort of selfish. Because <laughs> it's like, I wanted to see what the reading was for, <laughs> for myself. <laughs> so it's okay to be selfish sometimes. I think that's part of it, right? And there's also this energy, what I'm feeling is, it's like rearing to go, but in a, Virgo y calculated manner. Which is not, I feel like there's a whole new energy coming. I mean, not just because it's the whole new year, it's sometimes, you know, like there are certain times it's just like shifting. It's really shifting. And I feel like it's all shifting. I feel like everyone's perspective is shifting. No, I'm not really. I don't know what that means for Virgo in particular yet. It'll reveal itself. I think that's it, actually. You know how Virgo, like I, I have Virgo right, and I have, what else do I have in Virgo? It's my 12th house. And, um, you know, I'm like a 24 degree Virgo rising or something like that. So it's my 12th house and I have Pluto and Uranus conjunct naturally in Virgo. <clears throat> so it's sort of my subconscious. And, you know, I really like to have things, all my ducks in a row. I want to know what the final outcome is. And I don't, I don't think, I, I think do, uh, what I'm getting is do, take the action toward the goal that you want, but allow uh, surprises and allow mm, miracles and allow allow yourself to you know move through it and you know change and you know if you're if your head is in the right place, your actions in the right place, it'll all work out whether it's to your you know perfect understanding of it or not. That's my little message for you. And I'm eating black grapes. I haven't had black grapes in so long. They're so good. Oh, my God. I mean, I like green grapes and I like red grapes, but the black grapes are like... <laughs> so, you know, I'm obsessed with food. There we go. I have a black grape for you. Delicious. Seedless, too. All right. Nine of Wands. Fight the fight. Fight the fight. Sometimes, you know, it's like a little overwhelmed. I get different messages from this card all the time, but today it feels like fight the fight. You're almost there. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win the battle. The reason I say it is because judgment comes. Judgment's a fantastic card. Judgment is really about learning the lesson thoroughly. Learning the lesson completely and thoroughly and incorporating it. And because the lesson has been learned in your body, in your mind, in your soul, 
etc. I don't know what more there is. Your spirit. You're able to hear a new calling. You're able to be revitalized. You're able to uh, be rejuvenated, resurrected. That's why I said fight the fight. It's Gabriel. But yeah, it's like, okay, I fought the fight. I think I won the battle. I've learned my lesson, but it still feels a little bit uneasy. It's okay. It's so it feels a little bit uneasy. You know, sometimes you have to sit in the uneasy. Sometimes we have to sit in that place of, I don't really know which way to go. I don't really know how I'm going to keep this all afloat. Okay. You don't always have to know. What you do need to know or is uh, if it's a burden, it's time to drop it. If it's a burden, it's time to drop it. And the chaos, it, like, and all everyone's opinion, like, if it becomes a burden, I see this is what I think it is. You, you have been feeling overwhelmed and surrounded by a lot of things, right? And you're trying to balance it and then you decide to drop the burden because it's too chaotic, okay? And it, the, once you decide to drop the burden and once you decide to like let go and like let, sometimes, you know, you have to let something that's messed up be messed up. Yeah, you know, I so I guess I'm taking back the fight and fight uh, because this can be sometimes, have I learned my lesson? Have I learned my lesson? Why am I fighting a battle that's not mine? And that's what I'm now getting. Like, why am I fighting a battle that's not mine? This is too much of a burden. Everybody has their opinion. Nothing gets done. Everybody's trying to keep everything afloat. It's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah. That, that is complete. And sometimes, you know, the things to be complete, like, all I need to do is make a decision that is complete, you know, because sometimes we can get into or I can get into like, oh, I have to have closure and I have to, it has to be, you know, everything has to be according to the law and has to have a period at the end of the sentence and um, whatever it is. And it's like, no, it doesn't. I could just walk away. I could just walk away. Like uh, I could just walk away. It's easier. Oh, I need this and I need that. It's like I, I'm just prolonging more. Unsure, uh, unsureness. I'm just prolonging. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you have a friend who says they're going to do something. They're going to do. They're going. They're going to pay you back the money. Oh, I'm going to pay you. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like at one at a certain point, it's like I'm going to stop asking. It's either I'm going to get the money or I'm not going to get the money, and either they're going to be my friend or not going to be my friend. But I, I don't need to prolong the inevitable or prolong um, something that has no uh, ending. That's the way it feels. It feels like I, I why do, why am I wasting my time and my energy? I have things to do. I have things to do. I have the interests that I want to pursue. I have uh, money to make. I have a, a, a job that I want to get. I have uh, an, uh, uh, a romantic interest that I want to, you know, ask out on a date. And this one keeps on calling me. I am. I, I, no. No. That's what I'm getting at. So my apartment in New York, just an example, my apartment in New York, right? So the fire was January 15th, I think, or 14th or 16th, whatever. I think it was 15th. And um, nothing is going on in the building. Nothing. And, you know, people in my life, oh, 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 you want to fight it for me? Because, you know, I'm done. I'm done. I did everything I could do, uh, nothing going on. And I, all I hear is this, 
ain't got the time to put energy and effort into that. I'm living in Mexico. You know, if I, I, I have a lease for the new, uh, and I pay a dollar a month, it could be six months from now. It could be a year from now. It could never happen. I don't know. But I, my energy isn't in it. My energy isn't in it. I mean, ideally, I know what I'd like to happen, and that'd be great. But I, I can't put my energy and my effort into, into uh, you know, it's like expecting a cartoon character to become real or something. Like, what am I wasting my time? with these uh, nonsense people who just want to hear themselves talk about nothing. Or if and when and you know, shut up. Uh, it, it's not even shut up. It, it, like you, you can go on talking. I'm walking. I'm, I'm leaving the room. I have things to do. That's the energy. That's the energy. It's like I'm done. I'm moving on to a new story. It's full of hope and inspiration and a new direction and, you know, like dreams. I'm moving toward my dreams. I'm, I'm not I'm not dealing with a reality that's a non-reality. I'm not dealing with uh, fighting a fight that's not mine. I'm not dealing with carrying a burden that's not mine. I'm not uh, with, with chaotic energy that amounts to nothing, with trying to keep things afloat that are already worth keeping afloat. It's almost like trying to fix uh, like uh, something in your house that's like super old and there are no parts and no one even uses it. It's like trying to fix a fax machine or something. Like yeah, you don't even need it. <laughs> You're trying to fix the front door. You know, you, you need the front door. I get it. But it's a fax machine. Yeah, you, 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 have, you have a dynasty to build. Dude, you have you have things to do. You have things to do. That flow, that are abundant, that are nourishing, that are full of love. You have things to do. It's time to walk away from something whether it's finished or not sometimes you know that's the thing about this card sometimes i, I know i read it the other way but I, like as the reading developed that's the thing you know you have to, to as as it changes it's like i need to change with it i can't just stay in my own little oh it's got to be my way or the highway because that won't serve me because things change and you know situations change and people's attitudes change and you know, finances and did, 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 everything changes. So it's like, what am I investing my time? Am I investing my time in something that's worth, worth that's not worthwhile? It takes too much time and effort. And, you know, people in my life, they get all huffy and puffy and it's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. It's like, are you paying my bills? You know, you want to go to court for me? You want to move back to New York? You know, oh, you're just not right, you know. Okay, so get upset. But, you know, you can all have your argument. I'm leaving the room. You won't even notice I'm gone. That. It's like, go out and pursue what you want to pursue. Go out and get what you want to get. Go go out and serve where you want to serve. Not in, in some round and round and round where we go nowhere. And throw more cards. Yeah, you know how to like. You know how to like be secure in your own self. You don't need, you know, someone else to tell you what security is or what, uh, uh, what, what, uh, how to spend your time. There's always new noises out here. I always try to distinguish what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I think once you let go of this, you know, something that's like, uh, then you'll be able to like build something and be inspired by something new and fertile. Yeah, toward, toward like, you know, your wishes coming true. Expect good things. 
but to spend your time and energy on something that um, is um, ambiguous is at best, uh, uh, you know, because some people, you know, it's really interesting how it's really, really interesting. I um, I'm acquainted with somebody who is really a very, very good, kind person, really. But keeps on getting um, taken advantage of, keeps on getting the shaft, keeps on, but is attracting that, right? Oh, okay. And I've been there. I've been that person. That's why I see it. And then, you know, I made su some su suggestions about how they can, you know, do different things that would be more productive, right? Not, not like earth shattering, you know, oh, you know, it, you know, oh, you have to go to school or you have to spend all your money, you know, nothing like that. Just like, well, you could try that, right? Or you could try that or whatever it was. Some people really like to be in a state of drama, chaos, round and round and round and round, um, and and not move. They 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 like the my landlord's like that actually. They they like the 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 chaos and the the non commitment and the. Um, victimhood and the uh, they're getting something out of it. Just because we don't understand it doesn't mean that they're not getting something out of it. They're getting something out of it. And I don't really I, they're getting something out of it. And um, and that's their path. And um, and I, I, I've been in that um, that dribble wheel so i i i'm glad i'm not there today but i can uh recognize it but just because i recognize it doesn't mean i have to participate you know and go in and fix it it's like everybody has their own path and their own way and their own timeline and it's not like they're they're wrong and i'm right it's just that's where they are and that's where they're supposed to be. And I'm, or you have an opportunity because the world comes to well, you create something new, a new direction, I mean, build, a, I'll a lot, build a legacy of abundance, of knowledge, security, of anticipating good things, creativity. Very interesting, and it's a very and sometimes it really pains us to see people that we like or we know be um, stuck or whatever you want to call it, but. I can extend love and extend compassion, but it doesn't mean I have to like tie your shoe or etc. It's a, you know, and I know I've spoken to you about this before. I know I have, but like with the Virgo rising thing, like there's a sense of uh, for me, and I I think this is true for you. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't come through. There's this deep sense of service, you know, and of and of wanting to take care, and I I know and that's a wonderful thing. However, the one to take care of is yourself, and through that you're an example of how to take care of oneself, because we can, you know, I can't even make myself do what I want to have the time what I want to do. So how am I going to make somebody else do what I think they should do? Good luck, you know. Maybe in a book. But in reality, ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. I was talking to uh, somebody I know, and uh, 
we were talking about, you know, this one or that one. And um, if somebody doesn't want help, you can't help them. If they don't want help, you can't help them. Right. Somebody who's ill, who doesn't want to take their medicine, somebody, you can't help them. You know, because we all have free will. And um, I found through experience that it's best to concentrate my free will on, on what I want in my life and my desires and my hopes and my aspirations as opposed to um, spending my time or my effort or my energy or, or my emotional state on, on, on people who don't really, um, who are not open to the gift. We're not open to the gifts. We're not open to help. We're not open to uh, a solution. Should be a very interesting year. Blessings.